there, this is Morgan with Morgan Burke's Photography and Product Shop. And today I'm gonna to show you how I would cut through the haze of this image in Adobe Camera Raw. Um, so this photo was taken with the sun almost directly behind my subjects and it made the image pretty hazy as a result. Um, so in camera, I underexposed a little bit to compensate. Um, in my opinion, it's always better to have an underexposed hazy image than it is to have an overexposed hazy image. Um, it's a little easier to fix in post-processing that way. Um, so what I'll, I'll show you how I would kind of cut through the haze here and, and add a little more contrast and stuff to the photo. Um, so first what I want to do is I'm going to grab the black slider and start to lower it a little. And as I lower it, I'm going to switch back up to exposure and increase that. So then I'm just going to come back to blacks, bring it down a little more, and just keep doing this until I like uh, where the photo is. And I think the exposure is actually pretty good there, but I'm going to bring the blacks down just a little bit more. Um, okay, and then so once you get a good punch of contrast that way, then you can sort of um, experiment with bringing up the vibrance or the saturation of the photo. A lot of times with hazy or underexposed photos, some of the color gets lost there. Um, so I like to experiment with these sliders a little bit and just try to add a little more color back in. Um, so in bringing up these sliders, since vibrance and saturation are more of like a global adjustment, which means it affects the whole photo, um, you can enter the HSL grayscale tab up here um, to selectively reduce or punch up the saturation of different colors. So what you can do here is like for the blues and the mountains behind them, you could grab the blue slider and increase the saturation. Um, you could also change the hue if you wanted it to be a little more cyan or a little more blue. Um, and then same thing with the yellows here in the ground. I noticed they're a little on the green side. So um, if you want, you can go to the hue slider and drag the yellow slider more towards the oranges here. And that way it takes out a little bit of that green color. There's the before and after there. Um, so I notice his shirt is a little bit oversaturated, so I'm going to go to the saturation tab here and just bring those blues back down. And then what you can do instead is you can grab a brush tool and just make sure it's all zeroed out here. And then what you can do is you can bring the temperature down and paint this onto the mountains instead. So if his shirt is being too um, saturated when we adjust the blues as a whole, you can selectively paint different colors onto your photo using a brush tool. All right, so let's go back to the main panel here. And then there is the before and the after. So just a few quick steps, but it really did increase that contrast and reduce that haze. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial. If you'd like to watch more, you can find them on morganburks.com. Um, and if you have any questions, you can send me an email at morgan at morganburks.com. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.